What's up guys, this is my review of the Firefox OS ROM for the Nexus 7 2013. This is a port of the Firefox OS, so the ROM is not stable. This video is just to show you some details about the Firefox OS ROM and you also can show it off to your friends that you can install the Firefox OS on your Nexus 7. This ROM is still under development, but if in case you want to install this ROM and you want to experience the Firefox OS, hit link 1 from the description. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and uh, have a closer look at the Firefox OS ROM. Right from the lock screen, you get the Firefox OS lock screen. You have the transparent status bar with the time, date and the day. And from here you can either launch your camera or unlock your device. The camera app is not working here so I will quickly unlock the device. This is the home screen. On top you have the search bar. And uh, below that you have this folders with various categories like social, games, music, etc. And here at the bottom you have the Firefox icon acting as the home button. We don't have an app drawer. Anything installed directly comes to the home screen. So what I feel here is the Firefox OS is the combination of iOS and Android. Swipe to the right and you have all your apps here like the camera, gallery, radio, etc. All of the apps that you get with this ROM is working fine apart from the camera application. The camera app is not working as you can see here. Gallery is working fine without any issues and even the video player and the music player is working fine. We also have a dedicated marketplace for the Firefox OS from where you can download apps for your Firefox OS. So here I have downloaded the Twitter application from the marketplace and uh, when I launch it, it really takes a lot of time to load. And I also have downloaded the Cut the Rope game. The game is not optimized, the game lags a lot, the graphics is also not nice. You also can access your notification bar. Swipe down from the top of the screen and you can access your notification panel. Here you have your toggles and you will get all your notifications right here. This is the Firefox OS dialer and this is the keyboard which I really like, very big and very simple. Tap and hold the home screen and you have additional options to change your wallpaper and add collection. And adding the collection is like adding folders related to various topics like health, hotels, photography and so on. As per the functionality goes, Wi-Fi is working totally fine. Wireless charging is also supported because I tried charging my device with the wireless charger and it was working fine. The light sensor is not working. The screen is continuously blinking as it cannot adjust light according to the surrounding. Bluetooth is not working. Camera is not working. So let's move on to settings. So under settings, you have the normal options for your sound, display, notifications, date and time and stuff like that. So let's go on to device information and here you can see the software version and uh, you also can uh, update your software uh, from the software update section. So nothing much here. As per this ROM goes, the ROM is not stable, the ROM is not smooth, there's a lot of lag and a lot of bugs. All the apps that you get in the marketplace is not optimized for this device. So that's all for this video guys. If you want to experience the Firefox OS, you can just try it. And if you want to go back to Android, do a factory reset and flash a custom ROM. That's it. So that's all for this video guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions or any suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. I will be coming up with more videos. Till then you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.